Okay, we are going to solve problem 3.62 from Sadiku book and the question is find the mass currents I1, I2, and I3. Here I1, I2, and I3 and we have a problem here because this is current source and this is also current source. So we need to do super loop analysis and our loop is very big here. It start from here and goes all the way through here cover this and let's name this as super loop okay where to put this name here here is fine super loop and we cannot do analysis at i1 we cannot do analysis at i2 we cannot do analysis at i3 because all contains a current source so we will have start analysis at super loop we are using kvl so sum of voltage in a loop equal to zero and we will start from this voltage source here and the current is flowing from negative to positive so the sign will be negative and the value is 100 and we move on to that for kilo ohm resistor for and here the only current that pass through this resistor is i1 or super loop current but in super loop analysis we in each part we only take care of the small loops so here i will need to multiply 4 by i2 i mean i1 so for i1 and we move on to this resistance so plus 8 and the only current that pass through it is i2 and again we move on to that to 2 kilo ohm resistor plus 2 and the only current that pass through it is i3 here and we have this voltage source and the current pass through it is going the current is going from positive to negative so the sign will be positive and the value is 40 so this all will equal to zero and here we will have minus 100 plus 40 it's minus 60 minus 60 moving to the right hand side so i will have 60 on the right hand side and the rest of it i will leave it like this at i1 and i2 and plus 2 i3 okay now we run out of loops so let's move on to notes Let's name this node A and let's name this node B here. Okay, now we need to do KCL at node A. Here, the only the current that goes in will equal to the current that goes out. So, if we look closely, this I1 is going into the loop node A. So, I1 and then this 4 milliampere is also going in so 4 milliampere and I2 is going out from node A so I1 plus 4 is equal to I2 so I will have here I1, no, let's make it, yeah, I1 minus I2 is equal to minus 4. Okay, we have two equations. This is equation number 1 and this is equation number 2. Let's do one more KCL at node B. Now we do KCL at node B. So here the current that goes in is only I2. So I will have I2. And that will equal to the current that goes out, this current source, which the value is 2I1. And I3 is also going out, so plus I3. 
and we have done this so I will have 2i1 minus i2 plus really yeah plus i3 is equal to 0 and that will equal to 3 so now we have three equations with three variables let's erase the board and let's try to solve this so now we have green board and now we are going to do eliminations analysis here and i want to eliminate i3 because these equations do not have i3 so by eliminating i3 we can do it faster so let's do it by using equation one and equation number three but multiplied by two so for equation number one i just copy it for i1 plus 8i2 plus 2i3 is equal to 60 and for equation number three i will have 4i1 minus 2i2 plus here I will have 2i3 and that will equal to 0 and we can subtract this. Wow, we get lucky here because this also eliminated and this one 8 minus minus 2, 10i2 and this also cancelled and that will equal to 60. So I will have I2 is equal to 6. And remember, the unit is milliampere because it's volt and kilo ohm. So I will have this I2 is 6 milliampere here. So this is our first result. And now we will have I1 minus I2 is equal to minus 4. So I will have I1 minus 6 is equal to minus 4 and that makes this i1 is 6 minus 4 or i1 is 2 milliampere so we have i1 here and the last one we will need to find out i3 so we can use equation number one or equation number three so i will use equation number three 2i1 is 4 minus i2 is 6 plus i3 and that will equal to 0. So I will have minus 2 plus i3 is equal to 0 and that will make i3 is equal to 2 milliampere. So here we have all the mass currents i1, i2 and i3. Hopefully I did not make any mistake in the calculation and thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel.